Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one, we are taking a probably a pretty decently long look at the at the Ta 152H, and we're also joined by MZIH for uh, this game and and possibly the next game. I I don't know. I'll baby's not asleep yet. She's still talking back there. Uh but we're gonna kind of play as we go so I almost have this thing fully spaded I only have like the cover left or something like that and my last like five to ten games in this have not been great so I cannot guarantee how well this match will go but I'm still gonna try to do my Excuse me. Sorry. Still going to try to do my best. Um, so, I keep trying to tell myself that I need to play it a little slower and, and not dive down into the fray so that I get third partied. And then I get third partied every time I, I think that. So, hopefully I will listen to my inner self here. But it looks like we've got a Spitfire way back there, and there were a couple, a couple more bombers. Uh, and even though we are an interceptor, we're going after fighters only. No bombers for this game. Um, so the Ta-152 is pretty much a 190D fuselage with a wider wing. And what that translates to in War Thunder is really good energy retention. And it has very strong flaps to go along with it. So, I mean, it's almost... It's almost like an infinite energy retention type of plane. It's very, very good at it. I might have to dive down on that F2G. I know I could... I know I could do something about him. I'm just gonna okay it's a small match I thought this this game was bigger than bigger than that uh, player wise I'm just gonna see what MZIH is gonna do because he's my backup right now <laughs> he's the fallback plan if I die and uh, you know shout out to him because he actually taught me how to properly fly this thing today okay I'm gonna see if I can I don't know we'll see what happens here we'll just vulture above for the time being there was another F F2G down there so I gotta kinda watch out for him right there um, but as you can see, I'm pulling 6 G's and it doesn't really bleed its speed in a continual turn that that fast. Unless you bring the flaps out, then it then it does. Um, I think that F2G is going to run away, so I'm going to keep a little bit of altitude and stay above him for the time being. MZIH just wants to take this guy down. He's like, come on, man, let's do it. So we'll, we'll uh, try and... And go. He says, don't dive after the F2G. Don't worry, I'll try and reverse him. I know you can't hear what I'm saying, but... You'll see when I post the video. <laughs> The 188 took out the P-47. So I'm not really seeing any other fighters right now besides the F-2G, and we're slowly catching him, so okay. He's going to do one of those.
slowly but surely and I'm watching out for the wires and the anti-air he's like the only one that's left besides the Spitfire This was probably a bad move on his part. Pop our flaps out here and... I don't know what in the heck just happened there. His bullets just completely phased through me. And that... <laughs> Thanks, teammate. D12. Okay, there's just two po two bombers left. So I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, guys, here we are in the second game. Hopefully I can actually get a kill. Like I said, I've not, not been having great games in this for the last, like, hour or so that I've been playing it. There was a P-51, like, straight ahead that was space, yeah, there he is, almost space climbing, but that Hornet is probably going to take care of him. Don't know what that guy's in, but as you can see, we are <clears throat> going up against a few jets here, so that might, might make things a little interesting, and MZIH also wants to rush the enemies, so... I guess we're in this one we're gonna be diving into the fray and playing the oh crap I have a p50 <laughs> I have a p51 on my tail and he has 650 cals so it's probably the game that we're gonna end up playing here I am just gonna kind of try to let this little fur ball dissipate a little bit drop a little bit of altitude but the only planes that I'm really concerned about like climbing <laughs> he says we're boned I agree man this is not gonna go well at all uh, the only climbers that I'm really worried about are the are the p51h's the okay I'm I'm also just diving straight straight down full sends only So I'm gonna, okay, that was not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna G-lock myself, I guess. That's fine, that's fine. Everything is okay, we're in G-lock. Not worried about it, not worried about it. What the heck, that's not even a player. Okay, little hit and G lock again because I apparently don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna pop out my takeoff flaps for a second here. And I'm gonna get lit on fire, so hopefully that goes out. <laughs> That'd be greatly appreciated. So before we jump into any of the the good gameplay, which I know you guys are hoping to see, um, really quick, uh, according to the stat card, which at this point we all know that it is not correct at all, besides the speed, uh, which, I mean, it can go like 825 kilometers an hour in a dive. So, before it, before it rips it, its wings. That's pretty impressive. And, yes, it is good at really, really good at high altitudes and 
that's probably just because the wings are so big. I mean, these things are huge, and that's providing a lot of lift, which is super useful, especially whenever the air is super thin, like up high. Anyways, with the TA-152, keep in mind, I currently have premium. It, we are looking at a 360% Silver Lion bonus and a 7, 300, not 7, 374% RP bonus and we are rank 4 of the German tech tree this is the H1 that's unfoldered and the C3 is right there so without any further ado let's cut into the good stuff <clears throat> MZIH has contributed a clip so thank you he has saved me on this day um but you guys should go check out his channel. He's a really great pilot, and I will have it linked or tagged or something down below. So let's cut into it. So we're starting things off with... Oh, hang on. There we go. A nice little two-kill game right here. I dove down from like 5,000 meters on this P-51, and he tries to, you know, get away from me, obviously. <laughs> um... So I'm going to spin back around and get on a 6 even though he is like a kilometer away. And I don't know what was going on with the N1Ks this game, but uh, they they were thirsty for some kills, so, you know. Got that one stolen from me, but that's alright, it is what it is. There are like two 7Fs, F7Fs over there that's what I'm going towards trying to get a little bit of altitude just so I have a little more potential energy what I'm gonna do right here is nose down and just stay out of this guy's guns the reason I went down instead of up was just so that I could get a little more energy out of this turn and I'm gonna pop my combat flaps out and <laughs> almost G lock myself which is extremely easy to do in this plane as you guys saw previously but I'm gonna get behind this tiger cat and take him out with the the insane armament of the Ta 152 after I take this guy out there's another f7f we'll wait till he comes in here because it, it starts there he is with another head on I dodge his guns just barely <laughs> I'm gonna go up and pop out my landing flaps and with landing flaps this plane can it feels like it can turn on a dime but we're gonna take care of him take a couple hits from behind MZIH is gonna absolutely swoop in like a falcon right there <laughs> and then he's gonna get that kill stolen from him by an N1K so, here's MZIH's POV. This is the beginning of the match before um, before I dove down on that P-51. So, he has a P-51H that has an altitude advantage over him. What you're going to see him do right here, instead of pitching up, he's staying pretty level so that he doesn't bleed off. All of his speed and he's gonna wait for the p51 to come down to him since there's another ta 152 right next to him obviously mzih is an absolutely be an absolute beast oh my gosh i can't talk beast of a pilot <laughs> and he's gonna be able to outmaneuver this p51 and and get the kill i don't know if he was using stealth belts or not he probably is but well yeah I I would say he is got the kill p51 H down and okay come on there we go this is where MZIH is gonna swoop in right here so a little bit of a different POV now originally when I watched this clip before I fully watched the one from MZIH, I, I thought I got 
shot by a teammate, which was not the case. So he's almost going to G-lock there and dive in on that F7F that's behind me. This was right after I got on the 6 of the Tiger Cat that I got. So he's going to pull in. And his signature is to go up. <laughs> Every time never fails. 10 out of 10 tactic. You get a crit. He's going to go back around. And as he's turning, the M1K is going to come in and just steal that kill. So... Once again, with another two kill game, seems to be pretty on par with what I do. I what I do in a match with this specific plane. I f am fumbling with the team messages. I don't hardly ever use them, but I was like, you know, I at least should let MZIH know what's going on and and what's going through my head. So going down on the p51 and you know that that guy was salty about that kill right there um now there's the j7w that mzih is going after so what i'm going to try and do here is bait myself a little bit not enough to where this japanese player can get his guns on me but just enough so that mzih can have a little bit of an easier time getting the kill and he's gonna swoop in and take care of that guy I don't even think he knows I was trying to bait him but he'll watch this video and, and understand a little bit um, so right here we have an F8F another one I'm gonna once again fumble with the team messages <laughs> oh. God, so painful to watch every single time. Dive down on him. And really quick while I'm thinking about it, because I don't have that much more time to talk, I'm sure that you guys saw some of the energy retention with this plane. It's just absolutely insane. That's probably why it G-locks so easily. I mean, the thing pretty much turns on a dime, and the flaps are pretty strong. Uh, like with that, well, there's the hit. And he's on fire, so gonna loop back over, and another Ta 152 is gonna try and steal the kill. And I say, ha, no steal for you. But anyways, it turns crazy well. And what I was saying with that first clip with the P51H, I didn't pop my flaps out. Even though, yes, they are strong, they're not invincible. I think the rip speed is like 575 or 600, something like that. So, still pretty good, but, you know, they can still rip. And before I close the video out, MZIH is going to end the match with a pretty good kill here on an A1H or AH1. The, the premium that drops a toilet. <laughs> So, props to him for doing that. He uh, accidentally didn't record clips for, for this one. And the no audio on his previous clip was my bad, not his. But, as always, guys, if you enjoyed watching, leave a like down below. And if you have any War Thunder tips or plans that you want to see me fly, leave them down in a comment. And I've been forgetting on all of the videos to say anything about it. Um, but if you're interested, join the Discord. I'm in there. MZIH is in there. We talk about stuff. But, as always, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.